Hi friends, welcome to my channel, Bonnie's Tiny Hands. Today we will be taking a look at Project 37, the multi-purpose calculator from White Hat Junior. Let's start. Okay, so the design for this project is very, very, very complicated. So make sure you guys pay attention closely. So the first screen you will add is a welcome screen. So you can add any type of picture you want. It just has to be a PNG image. So I just put this image over here since it looks cool. So you get a button called multi-purpose calculator and name it multi-purpose calculator. And then you get a button called start. That's the first screen. It's called the welcome screen. And then the first and then the next screen is Celsius to Fahrenheit. You get a text input box saying Celsius and then another text input box saying Fahrenheit. And then you get one button called Celsius to Fahrenheit. And then you get another button called Fahrenheit to Celsius. And then you get another button called back. Next is kilometers per hour to meters PS. Same thing. You take two text inputs, kilometers, and then you name the first text input kilometers per hour and meters per PS. And then you get a button kilometers per hour to meters PS. And then you get another button saying meters PS to kilometers PS, PH. And then get another button saying back. So that's kilometers per hour to meters PS. And then the next screen is liters to gallons. You, t you get two text inputs and name the first one liters. Name the next one gallons. Get two buttons. Liters to gallons, gallons to liters. Get another button called back. And then the next one, next screen, is meters and feet. You get a text input box saying meters, another text input box saying feet. I meant feet. And then you get a two, three buttons saying meters to feet, and another one saying feet to meters. Feet to meters, I meant. And then get a button saying back. Meters and feet. Same thing with pounds and kgs. You already know, you guys already know how it's gonna go. And then you get a, the kilometers per hour and miles per hour is kind of different. So you get kilometers per hour, a miles per hour, kilometers per hour to miles per hour, miles per hour to kilometers per hour, and then a button saying back. And then the last screen is called the divert screen. So you get one, three, Six buttons saying, pa one of the buttons are saying pounds and kilogram. And then the next button is saying Celsius and Fahrenheit. And then the third button is saying meters and feet. The fourth button is saying liters and gallons. And then the fifth button is saying kilometers per hour and miles per hour. And then the second last button is saying kilometers per hour and meters per hour meters PS I meant and then a button saying restart so now let's look at the code since we're done with the design so you get an on event button start click set screen divert screen on event button three click set screen pound kg on event button four click set screen Celsius Fahrenheit on event button six click set screen meters and feet meters and feet on event button eight click set screen liters and gallons on event button nine click set screen kilometers to my kilometers per hour and miles per hour and then but on event button 10 click set screen kilometers per hour to meters ps on event button 25 click set screen welcome screen on event button 19 click set screen divert screen so now let's go to the calculations on event button one click set text text input four 
you get an add operator from math, and then you get a math round. You insert it into the first box, and then you get an add operator, and then you get a multiply operator. And inside that multiply operator, the first square, you say get number text input 3 times 1.8 plus 32, and then a comma. I meant a closed off thing. And then plus the Fahrenheit symbol. And then on event button to click set text text input 3, you get an add operator. And then a math round operator. And then a multiplication operator. And then a subtract operator. So it's get text text input 4 minus 32 times 5 um, over 9 and plus celsius and then you scroll down and it says on event button 20 clicks that screen divert screen and then the next one is on event button 17 clicks set te set text text input 12 it's a plus you get a plus block and then a math round block so you get a get number text input 11 over 3.6 plus meter PS. On event button 18 click set text text input 11 plus kilometers per hour. Get number text input 12 times 3.6. On event button 21 click set screen divert screen. On event button 13 click set text text input 8. Math round. Math round. Get number text input 7 over 3.785 plus gallons and then another one it's saying on event button 14 clicks set text text input 7 math round get number text input 8 times 3.785 plus liters and then on event button 12 click set text id math round Math round, get number times 2.205. And then an on event button if I click text input six. Math round, math round, get number text input five times 3.281 plus feet. On event button seven click set text text input five math round get number text input six over three point two eight one plus meters. On event button twenty two click set screen divert screen. On event button twenty three click set screen divert screen. On event button eleven click set text text input two math round get number text input one over 2.205 plus kilograms on even button to a click set text text input one math round get number text input two times 2.205 plus pounds on event button 15 click set text text input 10 math round get number text input nine over 1 1.609 Oh, and also this line over here represents a fraction operator from maths. Get number text input 9 over 1.609 plus miles per hour. And then on event button 16, click set text. Text input 9, math round, get number. Text input 10 times 1.609 plus miles pH per hour. On, and the last one is on event button 24 click set screen divert screen. So let's see if the code works. Run. So let's press the start button. Start. And then it takes us to the divert screen to see what we can convert. Let's see. Let's go to pounds and kilograms and press hmm, 90, 92 and then calculate pounds to kg. 92 is 42 kilograms. 92 pounds equals 42 kilograms. So that's the calculate pounds to kgs. So when we press the back button, 
it takes us to the restart screen. I meant the divert screen back to the divert screen. So let's see, what else can we try? We can try the kilometers per hour and miles per hour. So let's click that. Let's say, for example, 45 miles. I'm at 45 kilometers to 45 miles is 28 miles per hour. So now let's try 12. 12. I'm at 12 over here. And then miles per hour to kilometers per hour is 19 miles per hour. Let's press the back button. And then the restart button works. So thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Turn on those notifications for when a new video comes out. Bye!